So Withermore should be taken care of now. We set him free. That's what happens when you destroy soul jars or consume soul jars, which you'll find out what that is later on. Should we go back to Withermore right now? Hello? Let's go save that paladin. Now this puts us in the opposite room, because that's that room that we walked in, looted the place, there's a big ass fight in there, we're going to wait on that one. to do with the paladins. Go and tell your grandmaster that. It's everything to do with the paladins. You sully the divine's name with this place. The divine would want the world free of Void Wilken. Sorcerers are like the divine's children. If you're harming them in here, we'll... You'll do what? You're weak. Only we have the will to do what's necessary. Goodbye. I demand entry! You can't hide what you're doing forever! So just to give you an idea of what they're kind of going on about. <clears throat> because if he goes back and reports it to the Paladins, then now the Magisters have another enemy. So they don't want him to leave. Here, we're going to start the fight. This one, since there's just one... Tell me that didn't start to fight out there, too. No, good. Alright. So, it's the Incarnate's turn. We're gonna hold off and let her come in here. Actually, actually, we, Jesus Christ, learn to talk. Actually, we could just teleport her. I'm ready. one down. Oops. Can we snag the other one? Let's not try it. Goodbye. Let's open this up real quick. Hang on to that for now. Not sure if I'll use that later or not. Damn it. I hate when 
I do that. Trader. All right, so main goal, keep the paladin alive. Subdue them and make sure Cork doesn't leave. Pallet and cork. Alright, good, they went after the incarnate there. So... Just get her in range and then summon an incarnate. Or actually, would it be better to summon a totem out there? No. We'll just summon. Fossil strike, that's nice. Ah, oh, there's stuff in the way. It's magic damage though. Shit. Come on, Paladin Quark, put some muscle behind it. I don't know my incarnates. But they ate some attacks, that's good. So what do we do here? Trying to loosen up as much armor as I can. Let me go get some. No, I think I'll just put a totem out there.
a little fortify action. What else? Who needs what? Why? Why? Why are you unequipping my fucking shields? Need an action point to do that. Now, if the archer could see him down there, I should be able to teleport that archer. That seems only fair, right? Don't be fire. Okay, that was a physical attack. Very good. This should definitely knock her down. Get Phallic out of range. Oh, you know what? Shit. I should have encouraged over there beforehand. Fucking slowed. Thought it was all blood there. Alright, so it's looking pretty good for uh, old Paladin Quark there. So two there, one here, one up there. Take his armor off. Can't really not. 
not see that archer. Still can't see that archer. Can I see that one? Fuck no. Wow. Good lord. Everybody a little bit of armor. Yeah, I think we'll heal him. God, I hate oil. Little support. Yeah. Well, Paladin and Cork showing up to the party. That's not good. All right, I think that one's gonna be okay. It's gonna ricochet. Should I try to knock him down? 15 to 18. Alright, we're gonna give it a shot. Fingers crossed. I'm ready. Yeah! Um, how about you? Took an extra AP away because I hit the oil. All right, you know what? We're gonna give her. Actually, we're gonna give the prince haste. Actually, I think I should have put that in the blood. Not that big a deal though. one hit point left. He's burning and bleeding, so on his turn he's gonna die. Use that one AP to go there. And now we're gonna get a little revenge on this bitch. Yep. Die. Fortified, should take burning off, and actually, let's put peace of mind on the Red Prince. Give him some sick buffs. And the Blood Totem. Actually, put a Blood Infusion on him now.
<laughs> she really wants to kill Thalic. Let's prevent her. This might actually kill her. Close. Vengeance! dare you to try to heal. That's what the king does. Healing spells and potions will damage you for Teleport the Red Prince over so he spends less AP. And I'll just create a blood totem. Another blood totem. It just pass. That's it. By Lucian's sword, these magisters are madmen. Are you alright, Lizard? <laughs> sure, I'm, there's nothing to worry about. Quite all right. I'm glad to hear it. It was good to have you on my side. We showed those maniacs what's what, eh? Sure did. He pauses a moment to wipe a thick mixture of sweat and blood from his brow before continuing. I still can't believe they had the gall to attack me. It's high treason to go after a paladin like that. We're divine order, gods damn it. Our superiors will be very interested to hear this. Who do you intend to tell? Our Grand Master, for one. Lord Ken would never stand for this kind of nonsense. The thing is, people on the mainland don't know what goes on here. Never would have believed it myself until I saw it with my own eyes. Sure. But we've stood about talking long enough. And this place is no roadside tavern. It's certain death if we keep lingering. Where are you going to go? First things first. I need to get the lay of the land inside Fort Joy. I was sent here to make an official report on what exactly goes on here. I don't intend to run away now. After that, though, and without the Magister's help, there's nowhere to go but the Hollow Marshes. They say they're haunted, but I don't believe in bogeymen. <laughs> I suggest you start. I was once told there's an old harbour on the far side of the island, and where there's a harbour, there may be a boat. I must be off, and so should you. Best of luck to you. You deserve better than this place. Sweet. 